guys, it's the Pixelay Pumpkin, and welcome back to another Halloween video. Today I'm going to be reviewing Techie Toys' Death Row from Spirit Halloween 2012. Now, this prop is an all-time classic. He's been sold for so many years, um, and I just want to mention a few things before I jump right into the review. Now, he is um, the 2015 model, so a few things were changed up about him, which I'll say later. Um, and I will be joined in this review today. I will be collabing with Mayhem Industries. He'll be on in just a little bit, but um, I'm going to talk about him first, and you'll see from him in a little bit on his death row, or he'll be talking about death row too. So um, anyways, let's get right into this review. I want to start off with his overall appearance because um, it's just really great, and it's just a good thing to talk about to get started off with. So let's start from the bottom, and let's work our way up. Now, here we have his shoes. Um, pretty good. This is the same old Techie Toys has been using for all their, um, pretty much most of their sitting props. I think basically all of them have it, but um, I know there's a few that don't. But um, basically, they've been using this mold for a really long time. And I'm pretty sure he was the first to have this mold. And it is a very good mold, and it is made of pretty decent quality plastic. And there, you can't really go wrong with the shoes here. He also has one here. Now, his pants, they're basically just a plain blue color, um, basically like jeans. I think they're really good. Um, good material, too. Definitely, again, the highest quality from Techie Toys here. Very, very good. Um, now, let's move up to his torso. As you can see here, he has a bunch of blood on his, um, I guess, prisoner's vest or whatever. Or I don't know what you would call it. I forget, but... Um, he also has his number here, his inmate number, which is 666, which I absolutely love. It's a detail that didn't need to be there, but I'm so happy they added it, and it makes this prop even more creepy. The blood is not very realistic, but I think it looks really, really cool, um, very creepy as well, and I just really, really love the blood. Now I want to talk about his hands. Since he is getting the electric chair, um, he has the um, wrist straps on. Um, now, I did want to mention that, I'll mention this in a, a little bit about the chair. I'll talk about that in a few minutes, but um, I just wanted to talk about his wrists here. He has a light right there, which lights up, obviously, and it adds a lot more detail, making it look like he got shot, like he's getting shocked. Um, and m like most real um, electric chairs, he is strapped in from the wrist, which looks really cool. And the hand mold is really good, made out of the same plastic. I think it's made out of vinyl, I'm pretty sure. Um, stained plastic that his head is made out of, which I'll get to in a few minutes. And yeah, so just overall, he has a lot of detail in his hands, and I really love it. Um, now his arms are made out of, there's no wire or anything going through, so it's just made out of, um, I guess there's like a little bit of plush in there or whatever, cotton. Some sort of filling plush material is in his arms, which lets you pose him, and it works good since he's shaking around a lot. Now for his most probably the best part about this prop is his face. His face is so creepy looking. Everything about it is really scary. And um, this prop is also, I, I, I don't want to sound biased, but this prop is pretty nostalgic for me because I remember seeing him in a bunch of people's yards since he was definitely a huge seller at Spirit back in the day. But now I, I'm getting off topic, so let's get back into his face. Um, starting this off, his mouth is wide open, like he's screaming for help as he's getting shocked to death, and it just looks so disturbing. Um, as I mentioned, um, so the for the new versions, the iris sensor used to be on his forehead. Now they moved it into his mouth, which is great. I really love that they did that. It hides it so much better. Um, here's his tongue. There's not too much detail there, but it looks cool still. His teeth, um, and... Now for his, basically his face, his nose is, um, all right. I mean, it looks good. The mold is really good for the face. Um, he has ears as well. Um, they look really good. And just overall, his face is horrific. His eyes, how he's closed his, how he's closing his eyes is so scary. And it just looks like this guy is, ha is in a lot of pain. And I think it looks so cool. Um, his face is definitely the creepiest thing about him. And it's still one that I actually find to be better than most spirit profs. Most spirit props are not as scary as this anymore, so I'm really happy this one, um, back, back in the day, this was definitely one of the scariest props from Spirit Halloween, and, and just in general, too. Very, very scary. Um, now he has this thing on his head, which in real life electric chairs, they put the thing on your head and they shock you to death, and there's wires going down to his shoulders here, which um, are attached pretty well. Um, I do have to say, um, it got caught on the side of the chair a few times, but I think overall it worked out well. Um, and yeah, that's all I really have to say about his overall appearance. 
I think it's very, very good. Um, I think it, everything works well. There's really nothing more that really needed to be added on it. I think um, they went, I think Techie Toys went the extra mile with this one, especially in the face. Even though this was from 2012, this prop definitely still holds up today. Um, definitely better, definitely holds up way more than most other props from back then. So I really, really love this one. Definitely, um, and then just, his overall appearance is just perfect, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Now let's hand it over to Mayhem Industries to talk about his animation. The animation on this guy is very fitting, of course, because he is getting electrocuted after all, and I really do enjoy that about him. I don't really have any other props like this in my collection, at least, and I think that, you know, it was reskinned a lot of time. This, that's not a bad thing, but this definitely is a really great Spirit Halloween prop. No, I definitely agree with Mayhem Industries there. Um, the animation f suits his prop perfectly, even though it is a reskin of um, another Techie Toys prop that actually became before this called Insane Serial, Serial Killer. Um, <clears throat> I'm not really a fan of that one, and I think it works way better on this prop, and it makes a lot of sense since he's jolting around because he's getting electrocuted, and I just think it fits so perfectly. So totally agree with him there. The animation is perfect. Thank you, Mayhem Industries. Now it's time to talk about Death Row's audio. His audio, as you heard way in the beginning of the video, is shrieks and screams as electrical sounds play. And I just think it's so disturbing, all wrapped together between his animation and his overall look. The audio just blends in perfectly, and it just makes for a very, very disturbing effect. And I just love the audio. The electric sounds are perfect. Um, his shrieking sounds horrific. And overall, the audio is amazing on this guy. Um, it matches perfectly, and I cannot say how good it is. There's really nothing bad with it. I don't know how they would be able to improve it. I guess maybe his um, screams could be a little bit more loud and sound like he's in a lot more pain, but I just think it would not really benefit this prop at all. I just think it's so perfect, and the anim the between everything, it blends perfectly, the audio. So definitely, Death Row has some amazing audio. Now, I want to talk about the chair I built for him. I know it doesn't affect the prop at all or has anything to do with him, really, but I just wanted to take a, a minute or so to talk about the chair. So this is actually an old chair from our old kitchen table, and these are actually parts from our old kitchen table to make the shoulders of it since this chair had um, no shoulder rests. So we put um, two of them here to um, make it look like he to strap his arms on to make it look more realistic. Um, also, there were two little things sticking up on here, which his um, wire here was constantly getting stuck on. So I was worried it was going to be ripped out of his head or of his shoulder. So I just cut those off at top. And also, this may be hard to see on camera. I'll try to move his elbow. Um, there's a little electrical box right here that I've stuck a light in. I'll close that to make it look more realistic, like that's like a power source or whatever. And we actually stuck a jack-o'-lantern light in there um, that we normally put inside our jack-o'-lanterns. And I just think it's really fitting for that. And it looks really cool. I'm going to, I'll move them over. And you can see it right there much better. So yeah, I just wanted to take a minute or so to talk about that. Now I think it's finally time to give um, Death Row an overall rating at, from 1 to 10 pumpkins. Now, I feel like I talked about everything that really needs to be talked about him, from his overall look to his audio, and it's just overall such an amazing prop. So if I were to rate him from 1 to 10 pumpkins, he'd be an easy 10 out of 10 pumpkins in my book. Not only because he's such a classic prop and how well he holds up, I just think everything blends so perfectly to make one really disturbing prop. Now, Techie Toys, this is probably one of their props that they're most known for since he's been around for so long. And I have to say, this is definitely one of their best props of all time, if not the best. Um, I know a lot of people can agree with me there, but um, I just overall love this guy. He is amazing. There's nothing wrong with him in my book. I know his... Um, um, mechanism is a little bit faulty, but he'll still work even when it's, even when the mechanism breaks, I'm pretty sure. He just ha he just starts, um, shaking in, like, a weirder pattern or whatever, or he has, like, a certain amount of shaking or whatever. I don't know. It's pretty strange, but, um, basically what I'm saying is this is an amazing prop, an easy 10 out of 10 again, and definitely he deserves that rating without a doubt. So now, um, I have... 
I'm going to do a demo in the dark, so, but this um, review is over. And I want to thank Mayhem Industries again for joining me on this video. Um, definitely go check his channel out. I'll leave it in the description. And just overall, um, yeah, thank you very much for joining us. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, this is Pixelate Pumpkin, signing out. Thank <laughs> you.